We are one with our strength, one with our hearts, one to England stand and scream. With you all the way until our dying day, revolution is our team. We are one with our strength, one with our hearts, one to England stand and scream. With you all the way until our dying day, revolution is our team. It's Bummery firing his shot and takes it. Everybody and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all keeping well. Yes, it is finally here. Hopefully you all enjoyed that little trailer. And if it's a bit too much, please let me know in the comment section, and I won't put it on all the videos. Um, but look at this graphic, guys. That's that's nice, isn't it? I just like this graphic. It's awesome. New England have appointed just Mike as their manager. I hope you're all keeping well, and I hope you're enjoying your saves as well. If you didn't mention to me before who you're playing as at the moment, please just drop it in the comment section down below. I just really want to keep up today with everyone's save. Let me know how you're going, who you're managing, what's your best signing so far, all that kind of good stuff as well. Right, let's get into these uh, straight away. There we go. New England have appointed just Mike as their manager, which they should have done. Colorado, Dallas, and Minnesota are going to be our starting matches respectively. Um, that seems like a that seems like a decent run, to be fair. Uh, New England directors uh, expected to win a safe mid-league position. I'm an interim manager though. Obviously expected to sign a more experienced coach to see you at the end of the season. So probably not set my sights too high and promise too much because I do not want to get sacked. I do quite like that though. That's quite nice. Obviously that's just based on my reputation of uh, being unknown. Um, although they're, they're kind of winners. Yeah, that's quite nice. But I'm going to tell them to I'm going to reach the playoffs because I basically just don't want to get sacked. Uh, and that's... Um, and it could happen. I've got a few positions I need to fill here, so just gonna play some adverts out. So if you wish to drop your CVs, guys, uh, just drop them uh, in the uh, description, not description, what's it called? The uh, comment section down below. Uh, let's have a quick look at this team summary quickly. Uh, good attack, see, good attacking depth. Yeah, I already knew that. They've got a very good abundance of players in that kind of attacking final third. Wage bill's good, training facilities and all that kind of stuff's good as well. Uh, particularly weak in defensive areas, that's not good. Lacking depth in goalkeeper position, lacking depth in, yeah, defence basically, I can already tell it's going to be an area we need to kind of strengthen. That's not my formation. I haven't actually picked a formation actually yet. Okay, there we go. To be fair, look at that. Red, uh, I'm not going to play in wing wax, we're probably uh, right and left midfielders though, that's not ideal. Again, it's not kind of in my plans to play that kind of formation. Uh, Centre backs, obviously, we need those though. It's not bad, but obviously, you just need some depth there. But obviously, that attacking final third. Um, is looking very decent already. Kind of reminds me of, I would say, um, reminds me of Liverpool. Let's have a quick. I'm actually going to set myself a little mini task here, guys. I've just noted this down. Uh, I'm going to try and get my squad average age to I'm going to keep it below 26, and I want my domestic player base to be above 80. So obviously slightly off of that at the moment. Uh, so I'm going to try and keep to that as, as, as much as, as much as I can. Um, all being well, and if I remember to show you guys, and if I don't, then just remind me, and I'll I'll let you know kind of throughout the save how how we're doing on that, that kind of front as well, because it's just I mentioned it in my kind of first look video, so I think it's probably something I should kind of carry on doing because I mentioned it, so let's probably do that. Um, and I think it's something that just adds a little kind of another dimension to the game as well. It doesn't have to be done, and if you guys are doing it, that's awesome. Let me know kind of what your goals you set uh, were, and if you're keeping to them. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to just remind me. I don't know why I clicked on that button because I'm not concentrating. I'm just rumbling, as always. Uh, I've got ten players here that my um, I've just pressed the wrong button again. The uh, scouters, is, you know, they're all three stars, though, mate. They're all three. They're not really adding anything to the team, are they? Nice try, but not really what I was looking for. No one that's really. They're not going to add anything, are they? I suppose depth, which I might need to be fair. So I'll have a. I will have another look at those off camera. Tactics, not tactics. Team. That's what you came to see. Tactics are going to be up next. I don't know. If, I don't know if you do this, guys. Do you select them filters on? I don't know. I just always do it. I don't know. I don't know. It's just thing I've always done. 
just yeah no no I thought I was just gonna check the reserves to see whether anyone hiding in there we don't right okay let's just pinpoint a few players that are gonna be key for me throughout this save well hopefully they'll be key for me throughout the save first of all Lee Win I pronounced this guy's name wrong for quite a while uh, I kept saying Enguain uh, but it's Lee Win um yeah I think he's a little beautiful man uh nine caps for America. And he's just, yeah, a magician, really, and can play in an abundance of uh, positions. Scotty Caldwell, I think if you were to ask me, Mike, who's your favourite New England Revolutions player? I'd say it's this boy, Scott Caldwell. Also reminds me of another kind of Madden Mobile, well, Madden slash Madden Mobile YouTuber. I don't know if you guys know who I'm talking about. If you do, then, well, just comment his name in the comment section. That'd be awesome. But yeah, very well-rounded, just a lovely bloke. I just, yeah, Scotty Caldwell, what a legend. Uh, Diego, now this guy here, only 21 years of age, obviously Uruguayan. Uh, let's, let's have a quick look at the scout report, or coach report, sorry, saying. No, that's not, that, doesn't, that doesn't read right. Good attributes already, and obviously he's got quite a lot of time to kind of grow and, and blossom. What did I, I don't think I've ever used the word blossom in my life. Why did I just say it then for? Develop. He's going to develop into a very good player indeed. Uh, let's have a quick look. Kai Kamara, or is it Key Kamara? Kai, I always call him Kai Kamara, could be that, aerial threat, target man, that's just what he is, get the ball down the wings, knock the ball into him, and hopefully he'll finish some absolute bullet headers, reminds me I suppose of in a way of, uh, like Andy Carroll maybe, I don't know, that's probably a really bad uh, kind of player to compare him to, because he's more, I don't know, I'm not going to say anymore, because I'm going to get in trouble with certain fans, uh, Namath now the Hungarian uh, international player, 27 years of age, doesn't have the best attributes for some reason, but I will say he's going to be a key player for us. Can play in kind of that attacking third. Um, not too sure where I'm going to be playing him on the left, maybe up front, or there's going to be kind of a rotation between that final. The four players basically at the front of my tactic. There's probably going to be quite heavy rotation with those players in terms of position they're playing rather than personnel. Uh, but obviously, I haven't quite decided that just yet. It may be personnel and positions. I don't know, but I do kind of want to get a team, settle them down. And kind of, you know, not really change it too much. Right, let's have a quick look, uh, well, defensively wise as well. We've got Chris Tierney as well, my left back. He's for some reason got quite bad attributes. I mean, seven tackling is not the best, but that 15 passing, 16 leadership are, are nice attributes. And yeah, some of the ones are quite good as well. I really like the player. I think he's a legend, but for some reason the game doesn't like him. Antonio here as well. I'm not going to try and pronounce the rest of his name. Probably just going to call him Ant if I'm going to be perfectly honest. Uh, I will attempt his name at some point. Um, again, I think he's a beast, but for some reason these attributes don't look that good. But I, you know, I still know how good he is, so he's going to be more rock at the back. And um, I don't care what the game says. To be fair, I know he's better than that, and you'll see in his performances anyway. In terms of goalkeepers, we're probably going to be starting with Cody here, Cody Cropper, um, 23 years of age, got lots of time to blossom, uh, develop to, into a decent player. But um, again, quite rounded, I suppose, at the moment. But I've not really decided to be fair. I think it's probably going to be Cody. But uh, really for me, it's going to be pre-season. It's going to be the, the kind of nailing down the tactics and the personnel as well. Because there's a few positions I'm just a bit unsure about who to play. Goalkeeper is one. Uh, I'm not too sure. Left back, I mean, I've just showed Tyranny there. But I don't know. His attributes just aren't the best. And there's much to like the guy. I don't know if it's going to be... But there's no real options to play anyone else there. That's the massive issue I've got. Unless, obviously, I go into that transfer market and find somebody. But, yeah, is there anyone decent? I don't know. Obviously, we'll have a look maybe towards the, the end of the video. Uh, it is going to be quite a short episode, hopefully, today, guys, as well. So, and I won't be rambling too much. But I already realise I'm rambling. Right, tactics is what I mentioned earlier on before. Uh, I've kind of got this tactic in mind is what I want to play because it kind of works towards our strengths. It seems to be the strongest tactic that we can possibly play. But obviously, this, again, is going to be something to kind of develop over the save. Uh, I need to kind of obviously work this new tactics and match engine out as well, how it works, what works well. There's going to be some things that you can exploit in the coding, all that kind of things as well. Uh, hopefully, there's going to be no kind of game-breaking ones where you just win every match if you play a certain formation. I don't think that'll be the case. Uh, and hopefully, there won't be any that just completely breaks the game altogether. Um, but yeah, obviously, if there's anything that you can exploit in a, in a, in, you know, a fair sense, then obviously, you know, it's there. So it's... It's there for the taking. Um, but yeah, I think this is the, probably what I'm going to base my tactic on and just work on the roles, really, and hopefully have the personnel in the squad to make this work, really. And if not, then maybe we've got to have a look and buy some players and maybe not play, as the play, maybe not play the players that we like. In terms of shape, we're going to go for a controlled mentality, uh, probably play fast, um, wide, 
and expressive probably to be perfectly honest there's quite a lot of gaps there isn't there mm, i don't really want to play narrow though but it could play balanced we'll leave it for wide at the moment that's what pre-season is all about isn't it kind of learning what works well and what uh what doesn't uh we're going to be closing down the no actually no we're going to leave it as it is to be fair uh short passing going to go both flanks distribution short and run the defense that all seems good to me uh, this bit you you don't you don't need to watch any of this. I'll I'll cut this bit out. But, uh, well, hopefully you've pre-edited Mike from members. Mike, pre-edited Mike, just cut this bit out. Right back at it. That's that's all that kind of boring stuff. All just done now. Oh yeah, great. I've got one pre-season. What I want to learn from one pre-season match. That's why can't you choose your own pre-season friendlies? Well, why can't you add friendlies? That's um, look. It's the fourth of January, and I've got one match. That's really disappointing. Um, right, okay, so obviously the MLS is split up into two leagues, the Eastern and the Western Conference, but you do play in a supporter shield as well. And uh, you go into a playoffs where wins that goes into the final and you win the Supporters Shield Cup. That's that's pretty much, I think that's probably about it, I imagine. Right, transfers. Just going to show you a few screens, guys. If you see any players that you think I potentially can buy or should buy, just drop their name in that comment section down below if you already know of some absolute gems then please share the wealth share the knowledge and uh yeah let's see how far i can go obviously i do want to try and keep it american based if i can but if there is some 16 year old i don't know i'm trying to think of a weird nation i was going to say gibraltarian but i know they're not there's on there um mexican no that that's not a weird nation but yeah mexican then just let me know about them please that'd be awesome yeah, obviously Freddy Adu. Do we buy Freddy Adu? Do we buy Freddy Adu? I don't think we... I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, Landon Donovan. Oh my God, them attributes are, uh, are terrible. But I think I'm going to offer him a contract either way anyway. Because he's Landon Donovan. He is Captain America. Um, I think you've just got to do that anyway. Uh, but yeah, guys, if there's any players on here that you think I should buy, I've got a few in mind already. Uh, then let me know. Because that would be absolutely awesome. And... Uh, yeah, I want as much interaction between me and you as we can in this one. As I said, the, the, the videos have been put up at the moment. The guys have been so supportive on it. The interaction there have been absolutely amazing. So thank you guys so much for the support on, on those videos. And hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this as well because I'm really looking forward to it. Um, obviously, I am using the same thumbnail. I do realise that goes from a previous save. So kind of apologies if anyone gets confused, but hopefully you won't do. Um, but yeah, really, really looking forward to this. <laughs> New England have made... Offer for Landon Donovan, that is uh, that's insane, but yeah, guys. Um, I think that probably does it for today's episode. Obviously, I'm going to play that kind of game off camera, the the one game I've got to play, and then we're going to come back for that first game of the season. But kind of just wanted to ease you into it today and not make the video too long, so hopefully, it's not a massively long ranty video as normal. But I also want to build this series around kind of what you guys want to see as well. So if there's certain screens and certain things you want me to do in the updates, then please just let me know and I will add them in for you. Uh, obviously, I want to make content that you guys are, are happy to watch. And obviously, I'm really proud to put there on YouTube as well. And obviously, I can only do that with, with feedback from you guys. So please be honest. Um, don't be obviously horrible because I can't take it. No, I can take it. I'm a, I'm a grown man with a, with a beard and everything because that's what men do. Um, but yeah, just um, let me know, obviously, any constructive criticism and obviously anything. Well, obviously, the things that I can change. If you say my voice is annoying, I can't really do much to that. Although, to be fair, I, I suppose I can actually add an effect to it, but that, no, I don't want to. Or I could do my Scottish act. No, 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 no. Gary Scotland is not making an, an appearance just yet. Um, but yeah, any constructive feedback, guys, that would be absolutely awesome. Uh, but I've already just started rambling for far too long, guys, so I do in every single video. Anyway, guys, that's probably the end of today's episode. Um, episode one, gone down well. Really looking forward to getting involved, getting this team rolling. Let's bring the uh, the cup back to the to the revs. For the first time in a while and uh yeah so guys that does it for today's episode if you have enjoyed this one don't forget to drop a like on the video i have been just mike plays and i'll speak to you legends soon